So if you want to remove backgrounds out of picture easily, then you can use a tool called Pixlr BZ. And to access that, you simply go to pixlr.com on the web browser of your choice. In my case, I'm using Google Chrome, but any supported web browser um, is what you can work with. So I've already signed in onto my account, but you can also uh, start using this application without signing in as well. The only drawback of not signing in uh, with your account is that you cannot save your works online. So now, in order to access the Pixlr BZ, I'm going to go around onto the Remove BZ tab right here. So just like this, you can see that I'm in the Pixlr BZ online app. So this uh, application is totally web-based, so meaning you do not need to download any packages or install it onto your computer. Let me just press F11 so that I'm going to go onto my full screen. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in an image so that I can remove the background. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on open image right here and then it opens up the explorer window. So I'm going to choose an image and for that I'm going to go around onto TutorTube and let's say I'm going to go around onto my images folder. So let me just see where I have some images right here. There you go. There are some pictures. I'm going to open up right here and open out this picture right here. So now once I open up the picture, you can see that it has detected uh, the picture, the background, and then removed out the background right here. But there are some artifacts remaining. You can see the blue lines are still here, but it did a pretty good job. So you can download this, so you can click on download so that it immediately downloads that out as a PNG file. And there you go. You can start using the transparent background or you can fine tune it right here. So I'm just going to click on fine tune. So what you can do with fine tune is use these options. So uh, you can see that this is the hint. So I can enable and disable the hint. So the blue background was there. So if I were to uh, turn this on, you can see that the blue background is there. So what I can do is with this tool, I can actually go around and then remove out portions uh, just like this as well. Or I can bring back so I can go to keep and then bring back some portions as well. So now you can work around with the brush size, increase the brush size to work around with larger chunks of data or decrease the brush size to work around with smaller chunks of data right here. So let me just increase the size and the softness right here so you can make it more soft as you can see or you can make it more harsh as you can see there as well. You can also invert the total uh, transparency. You can see that now the visible is invisible and the invisible is visible or you can reset out everything so that you can work from scratch as well. So over here, this is the draw tool, meaning you click and drag around the brush yourself or you can go around onto the magic. So you can click on this and that area is removed. You can go to keep and that area is there as you can see right there. You can increase the tolerance right here just like this to remove it out right here increase the tolerance. Let me just go around on to keep. And if I were to really increase the tolerance and remove it, you can see that it removes all the way up to the shed as well. You can uh, enable and disable the contiguous option right here as well. And then it works around accordingly. Uh, now I'm just going to reset everything. And if I were to go to light right here, let me just go to tolerance, click here. It is more like a light, softer tone of removal as you can see. Let me just reset. And another thing that you can do is go to medium so that you can have a soft medium outlook right here. And similarly, if I were to go to shape and now this is how I can work with. I can click and drag this to keep or I can click and drag this to remove as you can see. So keep. There you go. I have the object back. I can also enable and disable the hint so that I know what is there. And I can also work around with other shapes. Let's say, for example, remove and then that shape is removed. I can go around with remove that triangle shape is removed and so forth. So you can work around with different shapes as well, light, and then you can go for softness right here. So I'm just going to go to keep right here. This is no softness. Well, if I were to go to medium, there is softness right there. And another option you have is the lasso. So you can click and drag around and select that area as you can see right here to keep or remove. So if I were to do this, it is removed out. And if I were to do this, it is this there. I can go around onto softness none right here. So it is sharp. I can go to lightness. So it is uh, a bit soft right here. And if I were to go to medium, that is how you can go around onto medium. Hence, again, 
everything is the same right here. And that is how you can work around with the busy uh, pixel image. So usually what you do is you go around over here. So I'm just going to bring in the same image again. It is using uh, the tool right here, the AI tool. And you can see that since I have two projects opened up, you can see that the previous project is there. So I can simply close this out and then work around with this. So now you can see that there's a bit of the, these blue areas because I'm going to go to fine tune. So I'm using my scroll mouse button right here to actually zoom in and zoom out of this. So let me just go around with size and make a few adjustments right here, just like this. So you can see that on the hair part, I'm removing the blue areas right here. Just go around, work around with that subtly right here. And that is how it actually works like. So you can go around and then make subtle changes to this so that you can refine the areas where the AI didn't do it. And then you can simply click on download and download out the image as a transparent format. And that is how you can work around with the Pixlr BZ app to remove backgrounds easily right from your web browser. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.